Salutations everyone, this is Razor with another speed run coming at you. This one's very speedy as we're the speediest of the speedsters. We trace her up in here. Always a fun character. Uh, the first character that I really gravitated towards. My favorite character in the game. Uh, not that good at her nowadays. Season 1 and 2, she was my go-to. She was my girl. The top 2, seasons 1 and 2, were Tracer Junkrat, I do believe. And uh, Tracer is a character I played a whole lot of. Ton of fun. Did fairly well. You know, if you were good mechanically on really any hero early on in the game, you could find yourself with a, a wee bit of success here and there. But uh, since DPS is such a rarity for me to get to play, it's uh, it's a skill set that really uh, that I've lost. And I was probably never great to begin with. Like I'm probably not. My S at my SR level for a tracer player, really any DPS character probably, except for like I don't know maybe maybe Far or Junkrat, you know characters that I, I I get to play once or twice a season that uh, are pretty simple and straightforward. You know with tracer, it's all about you know your management and building ult and staying alive is the name of the game with tracer, harassing, staying alive, getting rid of backlines. Although you know tracer hasn't been in the meta for like six or seven months or so. And uh, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's always amazing watching top tier Tracer play. Uh, but, you know, of course, you want every character to have some sort of part of the limelight. And when it comes to my ability to play Tracer, uh, I, I haven't played her in competitive in quite some time. Obviously, honestly, she just wouldn't be a, a very smart pick, especially since she's not doing so well right now. Unless you're getting in a backline to where, where the enemy is organized, organized enough to, like, have a backline. Uh, or if you can just, you know, take some duels against maybe some less skilled players, you're not going to have uh, nearly as much success as you could in the past. Obviously, a good Tracer is still going to do uh, fairly well in, the, in really, you know, any time or place as long as they have, you know, good tracking and blink recall management. Uh, it was really weird that they nerfed her ultimate since it's the hardest ultimate to use in the game You're not gonna get a ton of value out of it and that you'll hardly ever get multi kills without the help of teammates and it, It's you know not nearly as strong as like Junkrat tire or You know a, a lot of the other DPS um, Ultimates in the game you're typically only gonna get one kill and that's only if you're you know, reactions and decision making is really good, but you know, that's kind of part of the, what makes Tracer so fun and being to be able to zip in and out of fights is something that I've always uh, really liked to do and, and other FPS shooters. So Tracer was definitely a, a really easy transition for me to make when it came to Overwatch because when the game was first shown and I saw some people playing it, I thought this game was going to be too complicated for me, especially this Tracer character. Little did I know she would be the first character that I would gravitate towards and that I would get really, really into this game. Uh, and she's she's my girl. She's my fave. My fave. Uh, also, you know, love a bunch of other characters, but... She was my first love and always will be.